Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you and welcome you to this prophetic talk wherever you are watching from. I'm here again, your prophetic intercessor, message of hope. I'm going to share with you the message concerning the Sadak nations, the Southern African nations. I want us to pay attention and to listen very carefully. Uh, this is a message that I believe is going to be here for a long time and its fulfillment is going to be um, observed. So I want us to um, hear this, what the Lord uh, told me that uh, there's a crop of leadership that God is going to raise in the next five years. There's a fading away that God showed me that uh, God is removing uh, the and phasing out the leadership, most leadership that are in the Southern African countries. So when I wanted to understand why God was speaking to me like this, the Lord gave me a message that is similar to what I shared. For those who are following my messages, you understand that maybe one year or two years back, I shared a message where I was um, talking about the mystery of Zimbabwean leadership, uh, the Moses type of leadership and the Joshua type of leadership. Now this message came again, but it was now on a broader scale that God is saying he wants to do something new in the southern African countries but he can't do it with most of the leaders that are there. A reason uh, that God gave me is the similar like the one that he gave me when I was talking to our nation but this is a message that is talking about most of southern African countries what we call Sadak today to say most of these nations most of these nations are led by those uh, leaders who are coming from uh, liberation a struggle movement so in their approach they are on a defense uh, mode but God was saying uh, Africa needs to move forward because it is a time of developing mode yet most of these leaders are in the defensive mode so this is the reason why God said he's going to face out most of these leaders and you are going to see the transformation that is coming in the next five to seven years where God was saying he's going to change leadership. And one of the things that I want you to uh, take note as a sign, some of the nations in the Sadak, they are going to withdraw and they are going to leave uh, Sadak for the reason I saw a crack, the difference that is going to emanate in their approach. So this is a sign that you are going to see. So in future, God said, there is going to be a change of name. It's not going to be Sadak anymore. It's going to be changed, this change of name. Why? Because uh, for the political dynamics that is happening globally and other affiliations that are coming and other blocks that are coming are being built uh, around the nations. Uh, for those who are following the economics and other things that are happening uh, globally, you understand that there are other nations that are called BRICS. And this is something that is going to have affect also uh, Sadak. But one thing that I want to repeat as I conclude this message is number one, um, there is going to be a change of name. It's not going to be Sadak. Um, in, uh, continuously, in this name Sadak is going to change because of new crop of leadership that are going to come with this approach, the developmental approach, not the defensive approach, because most of the leaders that are um, coming from these nations are coming from a background of defensive uh, to extend that, that drive of development as much as they are trying is limited. And then number two, the world is moving fast in technology the world is moving fast in technology and the things are going to change very fast and these nations need to understand that we are no longer in that world we are no longer in that mood but the nations are developing with technology so they need to understand the type of uh, environment that we are in so this is the message that i want the nations um, in southern africa to understand why am i sharing this as intercessors we are praying for our nation and the nations these are the things that are intertwined they can affect the development of nations one nation is affected and another nation is affected 
if they don't have this type of vision. So I thought I have to share this for people to understand. I want to urge those who are following this uh, channel and also intercessors that as we are praying for our nation, let's also pray for the Southern African countries so that it, what God wants to do, uh, the development that he wants to do in these nations will be achieved as he raised uh, these leaders that he, uh, I was uh, uh, given that was revealed by God. So I trust that God is moving in another way as we are praying also for the revival of economical and spiritual. God bless you.